All right, so looking at the LB proof document, this is to piece it all together from my point of view from the accuser. So the parts about uh, Invisivos, this main screenshot is specifically from January 1st. Obviously, it's before the World War. We know that. But it's showing that Invisis Veles knew that there was the exploiter in his clan, and he says, dude, that's you lost. Let it go. That's up to me, not you. I'm talking about him having the exploiter in his clan. And then we move on from that. The Pretty much the first day of the war, the first couple days of the war, we move on to it, and the Felix Sovereign is in LB and SCC exploiter, so he can't play. So what does he do? He goes in Fairy Fire. Well, we already know Fairy Fire is him. We've said that in the Real War chat. That's been agreed on. And Fairy Fire is banned from the war. Um, and then Invisus Veles defends it by saying, well, I didn't know he was Fairy Fire. Uh, I, I didn't know that was him. So I'll ban him. Like, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was him. So, I mean, sure. Like, how can we prove he did? I, like, we want to believe him. So we gave him the chance. He stayed in the war. Everything's fine. We just banned the exporter. We move on, and then it turns out we go into this voice call, which uh, the YouTube link is down here. Um, we go into this voice call, and at one point we see a screenshot, and Invisus Velis sends a screenshot of his DMs, and at the top you can see that he sees that the guy's nickname is fucking Fairy Fire, which proves that beyond any reasonable doubt he knew that the Felix was Fairy Fire. So. He already lied about that, but then going back to the Road War itself, the dude was in the voice call with them. Like, uh, Felix Sovereign was in the voice call for Legion Bavarian right here. When Legion Bavarian was raiding or defending, who even cares? Young Sleep is, le is the guy. And this GIF proves it, the one I'm recording right now. So, he's in the VC, he's unmuted, and... And this Velius has said multiple times, yeah, this guy's one of my really good friends. So obviously, if, it's, he's, if he's a good friend, he would know his voice by... He would know his voice, right? Like, he would know. So this dude, obviously, if he talked once, he would know that it's him. Because Young Sleep is the same guy. We've proven that by Discord IDs. But then, if you want to put in the argument, yeah, maybe he was just AFK in chat. I mean, sure, yeah, maybe. You don't know. But then the moment that raid ends... We go to the RA VC when Scar's going to raid RA. Look who's there. Young Sleep. Young Sleep actively moves from one VC to the next. Even though he's banned from the war and he's not supposed to be in the war, he still moves from one VC to the next. So despite them saying, oh yeah, no, he's banned from the war. Despite Invisus saying, yeah, I'll get rid of him. He's still there. He was still in LB's VC. He was still in this VC to defend from Scar. And the final thing linking it all together to get him removed is that the duty raid Nightwalker Empire, uh, Sosis Vele, something like that. Um, sure, I mean, maybe he was exploiting, maybe he wasn't. That's not important. That doesn't matter because it's who was on the account that matters. That That's what got LB removed from the war is who was on the account. And the way we can prove it is that when LB raided Nightwalker Empire, uh, that Vele's account was there. And then the moment that raid ended and Young Sleep moved from that VC that I just showed to this VC, I told Extreme Killer in DMs, which I can actually pull up right now, I said, hey, you have an exploiter at your place, ban them. And I said, he's asked who, and I said the Veles account. And he said, okay, I'll do it. Where is it? Um, ban Sistine Veles, there he goes. And he goes, all right. So he banned him from the war. So... He was at that defense, which shows that he was actively participating in the war. So the guy that was banned from the war was actively participating. He moved from one VC to the next the moment it ended, but he's not supposed to be in the war in the first place. And that account just happened to be a both. And that despite that, Invisus Veles just happens to be friends with the guy. I mean, the account's not brand new, but it's a pretty new name change to a Veles. And Invisus Veles just happens to add him as a friend on Roblox. And then despite all of that... They can still say, oh, but you can't prove it was him. I mean, no, you can't. You can't, like, get a DNA test of who's on what account. You can't prove that. But with this much evidence showing that he moved from one VC to the next, and he was at one raid, and then when they switched VCs, he was at the next raid, and that he was in the call with Invisus Veles, and then Invisus Veles said, oh, but I didn't know it was Fairy Fire, yet we proved that it was Fairy Fire, and that he knew it by that screenshot in that VC that it was uploaded to YouTube. Uh, and then... He 
So that proves that he was lying there. And then he lied before. Again, on January 1st, he lied again, going, oh, yeah, I mean, he's an exploiter, but he doesn't exploit at my events. Yet we had to ban him from the war for exploiting. It's just a constant exploiting. Constantly. And just constant lying from Invis Veles and faltering when he's trying to speak. And he knows he gets caught, so he just stops talking for five seconds that VC be uploaded. 